Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to play PlayStation 1 games on your Windows PC so that you can play classic PlayStation 1 games such as Gran Turismo, Castlevania, Tekken, Crash Bandicoot, and WWF Smackdown. If you're new to the channel, please help us grow by subscribing, and be sure to check out the written tutorial on our website, heyhalfice.com All the links and additional information will be in the video description below. The PlayStation 1, also known as the PS1, was a groundbreaking video game console that revolutionized the industry when it was released by Sony Computer Entertainment in 1994. Its advanced features, including a 32-bit processor, 2 megabytes of RAM, and a CD-ROM drive, set it apart from its competitors, including the Nintendo 64. While the Nintendo 64 boasted impressive graphics in first-party games, the PlayStation 1's diverse library of third-party titles made it one of the most successful video game consoles of all time. Its impressive library of games, including Gran Turismo, Final Fantasy VII, Tekken 3, and Resident Evil, sold millions of copies and received critical acclaim. Overall, the PlayStation 1's impact on the gaming industry was immense and continues to influence it today. In this video, we'll show you how to set up the DuckStation PlayStation 1 emulator for your PC. Our guide will cover where to download and set up the emulator, how to set the BIOS file, configure the controller and display settings, and add your games to the emulator. If you enjoyed the video so far, please consider liking it and subscribing to our channel to support our growth. Alright, go to the second link in the description and download the emulator. You can find the link to the page in the description below which will take you to the official DuckStation emulator website. Download the emulator for Windows by clicking on Download Windows X64 Release Zip. Download it to your desktop. Next extract its content using 7-Zip or WinRAR to a new folder. You can name the folder whatever you like, we will call it Duck. After extracting, delete the zip file. Let's create a shortcut of the emulator to the desktop for easy accessibility. Open up the duck folder and right-click on the DuckStation QT file. Move the mouse down to send to and then click on Desktop Create Shortcut. This will make it easier to access the DuckStation emulator. In order for the emulator to work properly and mimic the functionality of an actual PlayStation 1 console, it requires a specific file known as the PlayStation 1 BIOS file. It is important to note that the PS1 BIOS file is copyrighted and cannot be shared, but it can be easily found through a Google search using keywords such as PS1 BIOS or SCPH1001.bin. Download the BIOS file and extract it onto the desktop using 7-Zip. Here, I have created a folder named PS1 BIOS that contains the PS1 BIOS SCPH1001.bin. Next, let's move on to getting some PS1 game ROMs. ROMs are digital backup copies of your original PlayStation 1 games that have been extracted through a process called ripping, which involves creating a digital backup copy of a game's data from the original game disk. This can be done using specialized software or tools that extract the game's data from the CD-ROM and save it as a file on a computer or other storage device. Here we have some backup PlayStation 1 ROMs. PlayStation 1 games will be in .bin or .q file format. Now that we have everything we need, let's configure the DuckStation emulator. We will start with configuring the BIOS, open the DuckStation emulator and go to Settings, then to the BIOS section. Direct the emulator to the folder that contains your BIOS file. Once you're done, click Close. Now, let's add the games to the game list. First, go to Settings and select Game List. Click on the plus icon button and direct it to the folder where you keep your PlayStation 1 game backups. The emulator will perform a quick scan to see if the game backups are compatible, and a list of compatible games will be displayed. Next, let's configure the controls. In this tutorial, we'll be using a wired Xbox 360 controller to emulate the PlayStation 1 controller. 
If you plan on acquiring one of these controllers, there's a link in the description. To set up the controls, navigate to settings and scroll down to control settings. Choose control port 1. If you're using an Xbox 360 controller, it should already be pre-mapped for you. If not, configure the controller by clicking the button. Once finished, click close. Before we start playing, let's configure the graphics settings. In the settings menu, click on emulation and change the emulation speed. Depending on your PC and graphics card, you can upscale the game to 4K resolution. For this tutorial, we will upscale to 125% of the PlayStation 1, which means the game will run at 62 FPS since we only have a 1080p monitor. Play around with the emulation speed to find the best settings for you. Once you're done, click the close button below. Let's get started and play a game. Double-click on one of the games, such as Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, and it will load instantly. Just like playing on a PlayStation 1, there will be two introduction screens. To play in full screen, go to view in the menu and click on full screen, or play using the other preset sizes. Let's skip the intros and onto the gameplay. As you can see, the game runs smoothly as if you were playing on the original hardware. The controls are responsive, and the graphics look better since they are currently upscaled. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 is a popular skateboarding video game released for PlayStation 1 in 2000. The game was highly acclaimed for its realistic gameplay, graphics, and soundtrack. Players were able to choose from several professional skateboarders, complete various objectives while performing tricks throughout different locations. The game sold over 5 million copies worldwide receiving numerous awards, including Game of the Year from multiple gaming publications. Let's load a new game. To select a new game, click on the system menu and select Change Disk. Then select a game from the game list that we set up earlier. Let's load another classic game, Tekken 3. Released in 1998 by Namco for the PlayStation 1, Tekken 3 is a fighting game with a vast selection of characters, each with their own set of moves and fighting techniques. The game features impressive graphics, sound design, and innovative gameplay mechanics, such as sidestepping. It sold over 8 million copies worldwide and won numerous awards, including Best Fighting Game. The success of Tekken 3 spawned multiple sequels and spin-offs, establishing it as a popular and enduring franchise. If you're a fan of fighting games, then you don't want to miss out on WWE SmackDown 2, Know Your Role. This professional wrestling video game was released for PlayStation 1 in 2000 and features a large roster of real-life professional wrestlers. It allows players to create their own wrestlers and storylines, and includes various match types and a career mode. With over 3 million copies sold worldwide, the game was highly praised for its authenticity and immersive storylines. It won numerous awards, including Best Sports Game at the 2001 BAFTA Interactive Entertainment Awards, and led to the creation of several sequels and spin-offs, including the popular WWE 2K series. This game is a must-have for any wrestling fan. If you're a fan of fighting games, you should definitely check out Marvel vs. Capcom – Clash of Superheroes. Developed by Capcom for the PlayStation 1 in 1999, this crossover fighting game features characters from Marvel Comics and Capcom's video game franchises. Players can choose from a wide variety of characters and compete in battles with fast-paced gameplay that allows for special moves and combos. The game was a commercial success, selling over 1.65 million copies worldwide. It was later re-released on multiple platforms and led to several sequels and spin-offs, including the ongoing Marvel vs. Capcom series. The game was also released on the Sega Dreamcast, and we'll be posting a video soon on how you can play your favorite Sega Dreamcast games on your PC. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to be notified when the video is posted. If Mario and Sonic had a love child, it would probably look something like Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot is a 3D platformer video game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony, which features the furry and feisty Crash, who uses his signature tornado spin move to take down obstacles and enemies. With over 6 million copies sold worldwide, Crash Bandicoot is the ultimate PlayStation 1 mascot and one of the most successful video game franchises ever. If you're a fan of the classic Castlevania, then you should definitely check out Castlevania Chronicles for PlayStation 1. This enhanced version of the original game features updated graphics and sound, as well as additional levels and content. 
While the game received mixed reviews for its difficulty and lack of innovation, it's still a must-play for fans of the series who want to experience the classic game in a new way. Looking for more Castlevania? Then don't miss out on the classic, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. Developed and published by Konami for PlayStation 1 in 1997, this side-scrolling action-adventure game features unique Metroidvania gameplay, RPG elements, and non-linear exploration. Its exceptional music and impressive visuals have garnered critical acclaim and helped it become one of the best-selling games in the Castlevania franchise, with over 1.27 million units sold worldwide as of 2021. The PlayStation 1 isn't just known for its extensive collection of RPGs, it also boasts an impressive lineup of racing games, including the often overlooked Let's and Go Eternal Wings. Developed by Hudson Soft, this racing game, based on the popular Mini 4WD anime and manga series was released exclusively for the PlayStation 1 in 1998. Players can customize their Mini 4WD cars and compete in races against other characters from the series. While the game received mixed reviews upon release, it has developed a cult following among many 4WD fans. Unfortunately, Let's and Go Eternal Wings was only released in Japanese, making it less accessible to non-Japanese speakers. But if you're a fan of the anime and have a love for many 4WD cars, this game is definitely worth checking out. Let's wrap up with classic racing game Gran Turismo. Released in 1997 for PlayStation 1, the game features a variety of cars to customize and tune for optimal performance. Praised for realistic physics, stunning graphics, and meticulous attention to detail, Gran Turismo has earned a well-deserved reputation as one of the greatest racing games of all time selling over 10 million copies worldwide, making it one of the best-selling PlayStation 1 games. And there you go, that's how you play your favorite PS1 games on your PC using the DuckStation emulator. Did we miss any of your favorite games? Do check out all the product links and additional show notes in the description below. A written tutorial of this video is available on heyhalfeyes.com. If you have found this video useful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as it will help the channel grow. With that, as always, thank you for watching, take care, and stay safe everyone.